26th of January 2021. This is Sergey Baklakov. You're watching Baklakov Live. Now this is another live from St. Petersburg, Russia. This is uh, the southern outskirts of the city of St. Petersburg, the district which is called Shushare. Well, relatively, it's not that far from uh, the airports, Pulkova airports of St. Petersburg. And uh, here I am now to begin the final, the final episodes in a series uh, about St. Petersburg Metro. Here in St. Petersburg, five lines of the Metro, four of them I covered. Now it's finally the time for the fifth line of St. Petersburg Metro, fifth line, which is also known as Violet Line or Purple Line, uh, if all of the uh, lines are having the color. And uh, also it's known as Frunzinska Primorska, because it goes from like historically from Frunzinski district, uh, Frunzinski district uh, through the center, through Nevsky, Admiraltyska to uh, Primorsky district in the northwest of uh, St. Petersburg. And the first uh, station here in the south, we will go from the south to the north, Shushare, because it's uh, yeah in Shushare district. Let's get in. Let's get in. I'm going to film now absolutely legally, according to the article number 44 of the Terms of Use of uh, St. Petersburg Metro from 29th of September 2020, signed by the governor of St. Petersburg, Alexander Beglov. level station. Get in. Inside of the train, so I'm gonna use Wi-Fi, but not sure if the first two stations, I'm 1024, so don't ask me traditionally as like, where are the people? Where are the people? Because, yeah, it's like the time when most people get back home. It's 10.25 p.m. I intentionally selecting such a time that actually, uh, yeah, to feel, to feel more comfortable. waiting for the departure. This is the second station of the fifth line, which is called Dunaiske. I'm not sure why between of these stations there is no internet in between of the stations. Probably because these are two the newest stations. Shushare and uh, Dunaitska, these are the stations which were opened just in October, in October uh, 2019. So it's only a little bit more than one year, actually for like 14, 15 months. Dunaitska station. Yes, it's opened in the same day with Shushare at the 3rd of October 2019. It's a colonnaded shallow station. It's not deep station. Relatively, it's not deep. It's only 17 meters under the ground. 
It's called Dunajski Prospect, what means Dunav Dunajski Avenue, just because it is geographically located, geographically located uh, above the Dunajski, Dunajski Avenue. And look, this is very not typical for St. Petersburg that uh, the, uh, the ways are separated with the wall. And uh, here in the wall, you see, the second path is there that goes in the, uh, uh, another direction. And uh, so here is the wall between them. Usually the ways are just located uh, from one side of the platform and on another side of the platform. And look, here is in the wall, we can see such uh, stained glasses where we can see the uh, pictures of uh, different towns with the uh, cities of Europe, like uh, Ulm, Ingolstadt, Regensburg, Linz, Vienna, Bratislava, Novi Sad, Belgrade. So this is uh, like the cities which are located next to Dunai River. And this is Dunajska metro station. Niva Fisherman contributing to your data plan. Lots of unpleasant buffering, Sergey. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look at this, the benches, which are made of white marble. White marble, and the seat itself is made of oak. from 17 meters under the ground. We will go down to 57 meters under the ground. Prospect Slave, Glory Avenue. The next metro station is Glory Avenue. Probably the connection will get lost here now. Welcome back. Welcome, dudes. Prospect Slava Metro Station. It has nothing. It has nothing in terms of connection. Not even 3G or LTE. I think uh, the internet on in the first uh, three stations here at uh, Shushare, Donaiske, and Prospect Slava is bad because those are the new stations. 14 month. This is not so much in terms of uh, making the development of the stations. 
So I think that uh, starting from now everything will be working as usual. And so now we came to Международная Metro Station, what means international, international Metro Station. It was opened at the 28th of December 2012. Yeah, it's almost same time when I started my channel. I started my channel at the 24th of September 2012. This is three vowels deep station. We are 65 meters under the ground now. What does it mean, vault? Look, one vault, second vault, and the third. So, международная. International. It is named so uh, after the uh, geographical location next to the streets of St. Petersburg, which are in their turn named after the cities of the Eastern European bloc. Uh, the, the towns, the cities of the countries of Eastern bloc, like Bucharest, Budapest, Turku, Bilikuna, and more. Here we can see the uh, mosaic panel with an image of Atlas, which was actually was censored. They are drafts, the penis. Initially here was the penis. Atlas, or how we call it in Russia, Atlant. Yeah, as you know, here in uh, St. Petersburg Metro and in Moscow Metros, they love the mosaic panels. <clears throat> the next station is Bucharest, which is actually like in the middle of Bucharest Street. Bucharest streets, and you know what? Actually, already now we go all along the uh, Bucharest street, but just under the ground. You know, when I came here, like almost three years ago, this station, Mirzorodny station, was the last station of the fifth line. And only 14 months ago, they have finished that fragment from where I started, Shushare, Dunaiske, and uh, Prospect Slave, what means Glory Avenue. They were all opened in one day, in October, 3rd of October, 2019. So how is the connection now, dudes, dear dudes? Okay, the next train, and we keep going. Yeah, I think now in terms of connection, everything will be okay. Bucharest is the next one. The stars are wearing masks. Look, here in the trains, internet is free. 
internet is free. However, they have a paid plans. It's free if you're watching the advertisement. Like one minute of advertisement before you can use. It's not okay for me uh, during the live streams. For me, it's important. I, uh, I get connected to internet immediately. So that's why I pay two bucks per month for a paid plan. Two bucks. Actually, like 150 rubles. Okay. Okay, Bucharest metro station. Let's check it out here. Bucharest metro station. It's named after the location at Bucharest Street, like in the center of Bucharest Street. Because Bucharest Street is actually a pretty long street. And it was opened in the same day, day with Mirzdunarodne, the previous one. This is another deep station. Actually, all the rest stations here are the deep stations. This one, 65 meters under the ground. And here is the architectural design uh, connected with Bucharest. And actually here in the design, they use the architectural images of Bucharest. The theme, the theme of Romanian, Romanian architecture. The spring in the park, that's how it's called. Another nice mosaic panel. This is a so-called pylon deep station. Why there are no people around? Let me re respond once again. 
This is 10.53 p.m. I intentionally selecting such a time that not to disturb the people. And even now, there was now the one who complained, okay, about me filming. Isn't it obvious, Ivan, isn't it obvious? Come on, man, I know you can do better. Where do the homeless sleep? I don't know. The metro is not the place for a homeless to sleep. Waiting for the next train, and we go to Volkovska. Well, normally the interval between the trains is only one, two minutes, but that's by day. Now it's like about four or five minutes when it's so late. Going to Volkovska. No, no, they are the metro station in St. Petersburg works from five thirty. Welcome to Volkovska now. Volkovska, another so-called pylon, pylon deep station, 61 meters under the ground, opened at the 20th of December 2008. And uh, the name of this station is all about its geographical location. It's right under uh, Volkovsky Prospect, which means Volkovsky Avenue, Volkovo Cemetery. Volkovo, Volkovka River, the River Volkovka, and uh, Volkovo Freight Train Station, Freight Train Station.
So everything is pretty uh, understandable. It's dedicated to the historical district of Volkovo. And look, this is, this was the first metro station where all the pointers, all the signs were duplicated in English for the comfort of tourists. Like here, you see? Almost in every station, you can see the mosaics. Look, and the next station is Abodny Canal, which is like bypass channel. And uh, it's gonna be really great. Mandalorian mosaic. No, here is like Florence, Florence. Florence mosaics. обводный канал the next one so we have a lot of stations to to go yet nine stations nine more stations yet nine out of 15 here 15 stations, total time to go 37 minutes. I mean, if you will just uh, go from uh, the first station to the very last uh, on the same train, it takes 37 minutes. Local time 11.03, 11.03 p.m.
Friday. Come on. Go keep joining. Okay, I'm switching to LTE. Обводный канал. Look. This is also so-called pylon deep station opened at the uh, 30th of December 2010. It looks pretty good. I love this color scheme. I really love it. Abvodny Canal. It is located right next to the uh, Abvodny Canal. The um, entrance slash exit here to the station is located inside of Ligov Mall. And this is an intersection of Abvodny Canal and Ligovsky Prospect, Ligovsky Avenue. It looks pretty great. And look, here is 360 meters of uh, such a decoration look. This is glass and uh, ceramic panels. One here which shows the panorama of Abvodny Canal the way it used to be in the end of 19th century. So from this side, here is the right bank of the embankments of Abvodny Canal. From another side, there's the left bank. Good fella, great job as always. Привет to Serbia. Hello to Serbia. Another glass ceramic panel. And look, here it has made the way that here is initially no spots for any advertisements. So, which is pretty good. So actually, uh, this never, this never supposed any advertisements to be here. Abvodny Canal, it means bypass channel bypass canal yes it's actually going along the uh, uh, historical city center of st petersburg if talk about the city center of uh, uh, 19th century shin leader thank you for showing us russia sergey i may never make it there in person and it is so beautiful shin from British Columbia, Canada. Thanks so much. This is really awesome. To say honest, I myself here for the first time. I just saw on photographs that it's great. from there from the tunnel it's the wind that the train moves
Okay, going to the next station now. We are now going to Zvinigorodskaya. Eleven eleven p.m. local time. So that's why not many people. You guys keep asking this. Thank you. Zvinigorodska, also named, uh, dedicated to, refer to uh, Zvinigorodska streets. The entrance to the metro station located in between of house number one and house number three of Zvinigorodska Street. We are actually already in the historical city center because the previous station was a Bodny Canal, bypass canal. And starting from that, here like stars really the historical city center of St. Petersburg, the central district. So Zvinigorodska, it's not that far from, by the way, from, let's say, like, Rudenstein Street. Okay, let's look at the station itself. Zvinigorodska. This is colonnaded, three-valve deep station. You see the columns everywhere here? So that's why it's called colonnaded. 57 meters under the ground. And it was opened at the 20th of December, 2008. And uh, from here, you can make uh, the transfer, the transfer to uh, Pushkinska metro station of the red line, the first line, the red line. The red line, the uh, the oldest metro station, uh, metro line. I mean, the oldest metro line. So from here you can switch to uh, Pushkinskaya. 
Can you say hi to Anna? Yes, I can say hi, Anna, from St. Petersburg Metro. And uh, the theme of the station, Zvinigorodsky station, dedicated to so-called Semyonovsky Regiment. The barracks, the barracks of Semyonovsky Regiment were located in the area where is the station exit now. So another mosaic panel. Here is depicted the first Semyonovets, I mean the participants of uh, the Semyonovsky regiment. So, and see, there is the switch, the switch to Pushkinskaya metro station. And let me tell you that actually here, when you make the switches, you don't pay anything. So here is, you pay only on the uh, entrance to the metro until you will just exit. So you can switch between the lines as much as you want. You will never pay again until you will exit and uh, will have to enter again. So, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. No matter where you go, no matter how many switches of the lines you need to do, um, you pay just once. different kinds of marbles here. Okay, the next station is Sadova. Let's go. switching to Wi-Fi. Look, this is against the guys who so-called hoppers, train hoppers. anti-train hopper device.
Okay, dudes, we're going even deeper. Now 71 meters under the ground station. There's only one vault. No, no column, no columns. Just one vault. So relatively to other St. Petersburg stations, this is a pretty plain station. Even those like it is like in the very center. It's a very historical city center, Sadove, Sadove Street. That's where Sinai Square. Sinai Square, what means high square? H A Y, high square. Sinai. It is founded, uh, I mean, opened at the 30th of December. 1991 just a few months after the uh, collapse of the Soviet Union dudes look and now let me to announce you to announce let me to announce uh, that the next station we will go now it's called Admiraltyska Admiraltyska yeah Admiraltys by the way, most of the metro stations in St. Petersburg and in Moscow, and I guess everywhere in Russia, uh, named in adjective and responding to the question, which one, which is in Russian language, Kakaya. So that's why Admiraltyskaya, Spaskaya, and so on, Sadovaya, okay? good connection yeah here on the stations uh, it's an awesome LTE connection because of I think many many repeaters all around uh, but there inside of the train I use uh, Wi-Fi from the train and I'm not, I'm not sure where from the train takes the internet because there in the tunnel LTE is already not available not available well normal AT LTE is not available but uh, Wi-Fi from from the train, Wi-Fi that the train um, distributes inside. It works. It works, and uh, I automatically getting connected to this because I use paid plan and pay for this like about two bucks. And here, let me tell you once again that I feel pretty legal, according to article number 44 of the terms of use of St. Petersburg Metro, uh, the last edition uh, from 29th of September 2020, signed by the governor of St. Petersburg, Alexander Begloff. But that article actually was there and way before the last edition. And if you remember when I filmed the previous episodes from the fourth line, here was like the stuff, the stuff of uh, Metro got to me. And uh, when I told them that it's article number 44, terms of use, the last edition from 29th of September 2020, they, they left me right away. So they got it that I know the rights, I know the rules. So uh, the next station is going to be the deepest one, 86 meters, the deepest in St. Petersburg in particular and uh, in Russia in general. Okay, our next train is coming. Let's go.
Be careful. The doors are closed. Keep your family safe. That's what it tells here. The direct connection with machinists. Mortgage. 'ske what means Admiral Chess welcome to the deepest station in St Petersburg and in Russia so Admiral Chiske the Admiral Chess it is uh, called so because it's like it is right next to the Admiralty the Admiralty of St. Petersburg. So, and uh, you know, this station is not, is not only close to the Admiralty, but also to Palace Square, Winter Palace, Hermitage, uh, Senate Square, and St. Isaac's Cathedral. St. Isaac's Cathedral. So it's all dedicated to the uh, marine thematics. Like uh, there's another mosaic uh, panel which is called the foundation of the Admiralty of course with uh, Peter the Great in the center because exactly Peter the Great founded the Admiralty in St. Petersburg The basements of Admiralty in 1704. That's how is this mosaic panel called. The deepest metro station now in Russia, 86 meters under the ground. If talk about the former Soviet Union territory, the uh, deeper stations are, two deeper stations are only in Kiev, Ukraine, Pichorska, and Arsenalme. The station was opened. The station was opened in 2011. Those actually, it was, it was, uh, it was made. It was founded yet in 1997 and for 14 years it was a ghost station. The trains went through non-stop. Look, here is the bas-reliefs of the greatest Russian admirals. Nahimov, Ushakov, Makarov. Billingausen. So for 14 years it was a ghost station. The problem was that uh, they were not able to make the uh, exit and entrance to the station there. Uh, the thing is there was the building, the historic building, and uh, there was the residents living in that residential building. And it has taken 14 years to resettle 
all the guys from there then to demolish that building and uh, completely reconstruct in the same exactly same way as it was to recreate completely recreate the building and they did it but it has taken uh 14 years so this station is relatively relatively new only like 10 years Now going to Spartivne, Spartivne metro station, which is physically located at Vasilevsky Island of St. Petersburg. But there is a tunnel on the exit from the station that leads you to Petrograd side. Okay, there we go. Phil, hello Sergey, educational as usual, thanks Sergey, love, thumbs up, Great Britain, interesting, you're welcome, you're welcome. Dudes, I'm not sure why you're asking me if there was Stalin, if I just explained that there are bar-reliefs of only the most significant Russian admirals, Ushakov, Makarov, Willinghausen. Uh, Abraxin. Okay, going now. We now will go under the Neva River. Peter K. Good evening, Sergey. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, finishing my series about St. Petersburg Metro, the fifth last line. Get a coffee when you like, Sergey. Okay, Phil. Imagine that now we will ride 86 meters uh, under the ground on the Neva River. So imagine Neva River, and we are way lower the Neva River, way lower. My new muscle. We are under the river. Oh yeah. 
We are now onto the river. A veto. That's like Russian Craigslist. They are not affiliated. But this is like the most popular second-hand item ads. A veto. Phil Martinez, good show as usual, Sergey, reminded me of riding the subway in Barcelona and Paris. Pretty good. Thank you so much. I'm glad it brings back memories and that you enjoy this. Nobody was ever making this in a metro of St. Petersburg before. Nobody was just traveling real time and then stop all the metro stations here. It's Sportivne metro station and uh, no wonder the first that we can see here now it's an odd to sport. All sports you are the enjoy or sports you are the call all sports you're a fan all sports you're a progress all sports you are the world so sportivne it's completely dedicated to uh, the sport theme in its uh, architectural design and this is actually a two-level station. Two-level station. And look, physically it is located on Vasilevsky Island. On Vasilevsky Island. But here is also, also a unique for St. Petersburg thing that through travel later you also can go like uh, through Neva River and to get to Petrogradsky site. And that's exactly where is located Petrovsky Stadium and Jubilejny Sport Palace. So that's why it's called Sportivne. So this is a two-level station. Let me show you. Let's go to the uh, lower level. Ian Robertson, я люблю Санкт-Петербург. I love Saint Petersburg. I believe you. I believe you. Спортивная. It's all about sports and a healthy way of life. Okay. And look, that's there's there's the travel later I was talking about. It will bring you from Vasilevsky Island to. Petrograd side. It's awesome, I think. Awesome. Wow. And uh, as far as I remember, this is the only two-level station. Yes. This is the only two-level station in St. Petersburg. Sportivne. Like sports or sportish. Sports. Well, I guess you got it.
look, only four stations, only four stations left. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that it was uh, founded, I mean opened at the 15th of September 1997, 64 meters under the ground. Yes, this is still, this is still uh, all the deep stations. Awesome. No, this is not the Soviet station. It's 1997. Okay, the next train is coming. And we go. The next station is Chkalovska. Chkalovska. Come on. The stars are wearing the muzzles. Nikolai Valuyev, the boxer, Russian boxer. That's where we are now. Sportivne. We started from here, from Shushare, all the way from the south of St. Petersburg to the center. Well, here is Winter Palace. Admiralty, St. Isaac's Cathedral. So under the uh, Neva River, we went through to Spartivne. And now going to Chkalovske. This is Petrograd side or Petrograd's island. with this one, the red one, the blue one, the green one, orange one, and now this is a violet. Come on. This is a one vault deep station, 60 meters under the ground. 
It's called Chkalovskaya because it brings you to Chkalovsky Prospect, Chkalovsky Avenue. And the Chkalovsky Avenue named after Valery Chkalov, one of the most famous Soviet uh, pilots. Yes. Um, in 1937, he was the captain of the crew of the first non-stop flight from Moscow through North Pole to America. He came to uh, here, I mean, he landed, uh, he arrived to Vancouver, Washington State. So Chkalov, Valery Chkalov, his name is pretty well known here in Russia. One of the most significant, one of the most famous pilots of the Soviet years. The first one, the first one who made the flight from Moscow through North Pole to America, to Vancouver, Washington State. And uh, yeah, no wonder the design here, the design of the station, of the platforms dedicated to the avi aviation. Valery Chkalov. So as you can see, most of the uh, metro stations, Vancouver is in Canada. I don't know uh, what I read, it's Vancouver, Washington State. Maybe in Washington State, there's another Vancouver. So uh, as you can see, most of the stations, most of the stations, the names dedicated to the, uh, just a geographical location yeah, it makes sense. You see, Harold Campbell tells that there is Vancouver, Washington. There is. Okay, so you see, my information is correct. Here is an information desk. Here you can see where exactly you are. This is a Petrograd side. And the station is uh, founded at the 12th of September, 1997. Yes, Vancouver, Washington State. It's like St. Petersburg. Uh, St. Petersburg also exists in, uh, in, in the United States. Even St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is in the United States. St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, the next station is Kristovsky Island. Look, we're almost there. The uh, Kristovsky Island, then Staraya Derevnya, what means uh, old village, and uh, Commandant Avenue, Komendantsky Prospect. Wow, I can't believe that we are finishing the coverage of uh, the last line of St. Petersburg Metro. Yeah, we almost done this covers all the stations, all the stations of uh, St. Petersburg Metro. Wow. Yelena, very educational, Sergey and fun. Welcome, big time. Chkalovskaya, Valery Chkalov. He was the captain of the crew on the aircraft, which is, which is the first, made the very first flight, non-stop flight from Moscow through North Pole to America, to Vancouver, Washington State. 
Валерий Чкалов. Big time. Okay, seems like the next train is coming. When you feel the wind is coming, the wind which is pressured with the train from the tunnel, narrow tunnel. Yes, here it is. Kristovsky Island is the next. Kristovsky Islands, one of the most expensive districts of St. Petersburg in terms of the real estate. Some propaganda from tax inspection. Uh, people live well there where they pay taxes in time. The federal tax service. going here, Kristovsky Island. Here is a huge park, like a half of island is a park, Primorsky Victory Park. And here is the main stadium of St. Petersburg called Zenith Arena. Here was, it hosted a uh, part of games of World Cup 2018 in Russia. So it's pretty green island. And here is one of the most expensive real estates in St. Petersburg. Park, Diva Ostrov. It's like Wonder Island. I used to film there several times. Went there with my daughter. Kristovsky Islands. Look, it looks pretty great. It's colonnaded, three vault huge station, 49 meters. It is opened at the 3rd of September 1999. And uh, the entrance here is like, yeah, it's right in the middle, right in the center of Kristovsky Island. Relatively, it's not that big. And a half of it is uh, just a one big park. And uh, at the uh, western side of it, uh, there's the main stadium of St. Petersburg Zenit Arena. That is hosted the uh, games of World Cup 2018 
here when you're getting up and exit from the station you're right next to the entrance to the park there's just as uh the uh, just a normal park as uh, uh amusement park so a part of the park of victory park is amusement park called diva ostrov diva island wonder islands wonder islands Neva. That's how she looks like. Neva. If you're looking for the most expensive real estate in St. Petersburg, come to Kristovsky Islands, okay? Peter K, this floor is typical in uh, train stations in Slovakia. This one? Okay. So many mosaic panels here as well. So we are now going to go to the next station, which is called um, Stare Derevnia, an old village. Meanwhile, it's already midnight here, 12, 12 a.m. in St. Petersburg. So that's why not many people here. Well, it's just comfortable time for me to film because I just don't want to uh, make people wonder, hey, what are you filming here? Old village. Hello, Brian. Brian Holland. Brian Holland, hi. Hello from Paul and from me. Thank you for watching my videos and enjoying, and especially classical concerts. The muzzle looks great. Yes, this is a great muzzle. Uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, the city of, of city of white knights, which is true. Thank you for watching this live stream. Wow, three hundred people, almost three hundred people now here with me under the grounds. Fake rating high from Las Vegas. When do you sleep? I sleep at night, dude. No worries, no worries. Cat lover, hi.
here you always can see how many uh, minutes left since the last train was whoa already six minutes usually it's never that long usually it's five six minutes but yeah the next train is already coming yeah it's already coming Going to Stare Derevnia, an old village. Here, okay, those who haven't liked yet, please give a like. Yes, would be good. Would be good. Let's make it. The stars wearing the muzzles. Now from Kristovsky Island, we are getting to Primorsky district. Primorsky means next to the sea, next to the sea. And this is really so, because here is already the sea. Baltic Sea is here. Stare Derevnia, an old village. Okay, welcome to Stare Derevnia, an old village, one vault deep station, 61 meters under the ground, founded at the 14th of January, uh, 1999 How do you love it? And now it's becoming a little bit sad that the next station is going to be is going to be the last. I will have no any new stations to cover for you in St. Petersburg. Komendantsky Prospect, the next one, Commandant Avenue. Yes, yes, yes.
look at this next to the sea panorama by the way let me tell you that actually it's called старая деревня an old village because historically it was the neighborhoods which was called an old village probably it was a village but now it's just like a neighborhoods of uh, Primorsky districts. Primorsky, what means next to the sea. And now we're going to Komendanski Prospect, Commandant's Avenue. And that's all, that's all. We've done, imagine, we've done all, absolutely all the stations of St. Petersburg Metro, except, uh, except Prospect Slavy, where today there wasn't just internet, no internet, no LTE, because that's the new station, only 14 minutes uh, old, and they never uh, provided the internet there or mobile connection, because I'm sure uh, that uh, the internet is uh, provided with many repeaters everywhere many repeaters okay yeah i love it but it's a little bit sad it's a little bit sad i turned to be the first one ever who was making something like this, covering all the stations. I'm a pioneer. Stara Ya Derevna, an old village. You can do it again, Serge. Uh, usually, usually I'm trying not to do that. I'm not trying to do something what I already used to do. Unless there's something new. If there's something new happens. How do you keep your station so clean? We just never live here and uh, they clean it all the time. So it's double effect. Commandantsky Prospect, Commandant Avenue. And we've done fifth line of St. Petersburg Metro. 26.24 kilometers long, 15 stations, and uh, the total time, if it would go non-stop, would be 37 minutes.
coming here. This is by the way the next biggest station, uh, deepest station after Admiraltyske, 75 meters under the ground. So this is the fourth deepest station in the former Soviet Union. Two deepest stations are in Kiev, Ukraine. Then goes Admiraltyske in Saint Petersburg, then Komendantsky Prospect. Okay, look at this. Komendantsky Prospect Station, Commandant's Avenue. This is a three-fold metro station. Opened at the 2nd of April, 2005. And uh, it is also uh, named dedicated to its geographical location. Komendantsky Prospect, Commandant's Avenue. And here the design, the design of the metro station uh, also dedicated to aviation, such uh, mosaic panels. Neva Fisherman, beautiful tour as always, friend. You haven't experienced Moscow or St. Petersburg without taking metro. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Awesome. The theme, the theme of sky and aeronautics. Awesome. So that's it. That's how dudes we've done. Not only the fifth violet line of St. Petersburg Metro, but we've made it all. And it's a little bit sad. But we have yet Moscow, Kazan, right? Wow, well, look, this is St. Isaac's. And now let me show you the main panel in the end there. I'm gonna even skip this train for that.
А еще будут? Еще будут? Туда, в ту сторону. А, понял. Сейчас од... одну минуточку вот подсниму. Тогда. Окей, so look, I missed the last train. They said the last train was eight minutes ago. But that's okay. I will go up and we'll go with Uber. The trains yet keep coming, but that side, in the side of the south, already done. So I will have to get off and uh, just to request an Uber. Awesome. Commandant Avenue Metro Station. Big time. Big time. By the way, look. In the ends, there's all, always the man who watching if uh, everybody got off, nobody fallen asleep or something. And only after that, it can go. It's not what is, happens in the New York City Metro. Because that's how, uh, in the first day when I, together with my family in 2016, came to New York, we actually got to depot. Okay, dudes. Now that was the whole epoch. I have finished all five lines of St. Petersburg Metro, covered all the stations inside. Now you can say that you saw all the stations of St. Petersburg Metro and get all the uh, basic background information. Congratulations. Getting off, uh, getting, getting from 75 meters under the ground. As I said, this is the second deepest station in Russia after Admiralteyska, which is also located on this line, which we have visited like 30 minutes ago. Admiralteyska 86 meters. This one is 75 meters. Uh, two deepest stations in the former Soviet Union, on the territory of the former Soviet Union, are in Kiev, Ukraine, Arsenalne and Pichorske. Sure. 
this is St. Pete, St. Pete, and this is St. Pete Metro. Thank you for being with me during this tour. Trevor Collins. Привет, Сергей, как там настроение? Hi, Sergey. How is your mood there? The mood is good. The mood is good. Look, I just covered absolutely all St. Petersburg Metro. Covers all the stations. This was the fifth episode of uh, uh, Inside of St. Petersburg Metro series. But in the same time, just a little sad that it's over, okay? But that was great. Don't forget that except this metro line, I have four other. I cover all the stations of four other lines. Red line, green line, blue line, orange line, and this one. That's uh, the deepest insights. That's the view. Nobody, nobody yet given. Nobody was making this before. Grand Hips, take the long way home. Thank you again for the tour. Welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's let's get to the streets. Okay, okay, open up. ATM machines, VTB bank, Spur bank. Great as always, Sergei, спасибо, Eric Elliot. Yeah, big time. Okay, here we are. Atmosphere, a mall. Atmosphere. However, everything is closed now because the only restrictions out here is now active, like uh, the shops, bars, restaurants have to be opened only until 11 p.m. Okay, this is where I'm gonna request the taxi, Yandex taxi, and go. Look, if you if you came late, then uh, check out this live stream after like maybe uh, 20 minutes. It will it will be available just as recorded video that you can watch from the beginning again. Thank you, thank you, big time. We did it, we did it. Now, absolutely all Saint Petersburg Metro covers covers big time okay so today i have finished all the uh, series of the series of st petersburg metro non-stop real time from the inside of all the stations thank you thank you for being with me uh, uh during all five lines five live streams i did it okay see you tomorrow Tomorrow is a great day for St. Petersburg, 27th of January. Uh, the anniversary of the end of the siege of Leningrad. A complete liberation, full liberation from the siege of 
Leningrad. Okay. And uh, traditional panorama, okay? Traditional panorama, dudes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for a uh, uh, good words. I'm glad that you appreciate it. Okay, see you. Traditional panorama. Yelena Bzichalska, Eric Elliot, Jid Singh, Joe Hernandez, Silke Hagemeyer, Jay Lewis, You Vlog, Sultan, 97, Gabby Hyman, Philip Martinez, HSM Epic Return, Felix, Elizabeth Calderon, Rishab Sethi, Freni, is a Freni, Robert DeVos, Mansur Mirzai, Bukusi, Peter K. Goodbye, Blue Sky, Krishna Parab, Luis Carlos Rocha, David Elias, Phil, my name is Fan, Michael Will, Corey for sure, Chaz Brown, Jose Ibarra, Drib YouTube. David Elias, Greg Kane, Macaboom TV, Borsch Force One, Giselle Belkut, Shahel Lavi, welcome back. Long time never heard. ZTK Space, Neighborhood Kings, Gabby Hyman, Mr. Snow, Andreas Anger. Carlos Gomez, Eustace, Danila Lawrence Ramirez, Karina Marcus, Liu Saab, Doug, Curtis Wienman, Wu Fernando, Neil McDonald, HSM Epic Return, Ronan 1123K. Green Man See you From St. Petersburg, Russia With love